so the query is this that why we get raised level of hcg human chorionic gonadotropin in pregnancy and why their level rises so much in the high identity for more patients to understand this there are one thing you need to understand that placenta is a temporary organ and in the developing placenta there is a trophoplastic lining and trophoplastic lining there are two layer of cells are there inner layer of cells are called cytotrophoblast outer lining of cells are called syncytiotrophoblast now the syncytiotrophoblast cells which are present in a developing placenta in the trophoplastic lining they secrete a hormone human chorionic gonadotropin and placenta is only present during the pregnancy and these cells are only present obviously during the pregnancy syncytiotrophoblast so they are releasing excess hcg so that's why in pregnancy your hcg levels rise now come to the other topic that is the molar pregnancy or the hydratidiform mole. Hydratidiform mole is a type of gestational trophoblastic disease which means there is an abnormal proliferation of the trophoblastic lining cells including syncytiotrophoblast. And syncytiotrophoblast if they increase in number the amount of ACG which would be produced that would also increase in amount. And that's why in molar pregnancies what we get we get a very high level of human chorionic gonadotropin hormone. Same concept could be applied in the choriocarcinoma also. Choriocarcinoma is a cancer of gestational trophoblastic disease. So obviously it's a cancer neoplasia, gestational trophoblastic neoplasia. So what you do expect here? You'd be expecting that these, there will be crazy proliferation of the cytotrophoblast and the syncytiotrophoblast. So obviously there is, if there is a crazy proliferation of the syncytiotrophoblast, they can also secrete excess amount of the human chorionic gonadotropin. And that's why the level rises. So that's why there's a tumor marker. This act as a, ACG also acts as a tumor marker for the for the choriocarcinoma, which is an example of gestational trophoblastic neoplasia. So this is the whole explanation as such. Thank you so much.